Y'all ready? Hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. We're doing a very special segment, one of my favorite segments. We have one of our favorite people in the world. One of the dopest <laughs> printers, designers, entrepreneurs, hustlers, project uh, survivalists. <laughs> See, I'm just making that shit. <laughs> now, this is our Black Business Expo. What's up, lady? What's up, King? You got it? I'm going to show y'all how to pronounce her name. It's shirt on. Right? Uh-huh. So like, how, how did you remember that? Yeah, because if you take your shirt off and put it back on, <laughs> you'll have a shirt on. <laughs> What's going on, girl? You got it. You got it. I'm just... How you, how you making it in this, in this cold world? Let me tell you, surviving the way I always have, you know, mm -hmm. as people of color, we used to having to survive all type of shit. So the pandemic just. That, sh that term always threw me off when they say people of color. Like, what the hell is, like, I always think of shit like literally, when they be like people of color, that means they think was about of the color rainbow? one time and then they left. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we was of one I color at even, one time, and then we left, and then I don't even give them no credit. I just say black. Colors. I'm not trying to figure out what kind of black you are. Then you just you Fair black. Enough. If you want to be black. over here with the people of color, you got to be <laughs> black. People of color is a pseudo name. It's a pseudo name. It's black. Everything black. That's all what, things black. That's the hardest lesson that all these people who come to America have, have to, to learn. learn. You are not white, so you a nigga. See how quiet shit got? Mm hmm Cause that's a that's a big hat to wear. Being a nigga is too much responsibility for the average human. I will plead the fifth on that. I know you did. Chicago. <laughs> Chicago, everybody in the game. Man, I was I was leaving church with my great aunt. She saw some lady she ain't know. <laughs> Where y'all from, Joe? Where from, I was like, Joe? whoa, whoa. It ain't real until you said she Joe. She lifted up her church dress and was like, I <laughs> on phone them. I was like, auntie. We, I didn't even know you knew for them. <laughs> oh God! Let me tell you, it come out the it'll come out you the classiest of individuals. You at know some what point. I love to hear people from Chicago say is what? when they get to, when they getting pissed off. What? You bogus as hell, you Joe. Bogus as hell, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Let me tell you, this I and when you get around somebody from the crib, like all the slang come out before you know it. You, Joe. Flow, stole, we just be dropping all type of letters out of our words. And hey, Kai. I don't know why. Doll. Yeah, we uh, we just had Mon Shumpin in here. He was rapping Chicago hard. That's what's up. Hell yeah. Man. Listen, once you down with the shy, that's it, that's all. It's it's just like gang culture. Okay, you in, you in or you out. <laughs> <laughs> you getting jumped out if you want to leave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what, let me life. ask you this question. Yep, what, so. makes, what makes black people move to Atlanta and start all these businesses? Well, me specifically, I moved here for college. Clark Atlanta University Stand Up, CAU. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we in the building. Um, I rolled through there a few times. You rolled through there. That's like, listen, it was so many guys out there with backpacks that never went to class. It's cool. We're yeah, used to that. That's a part of the right culture. Right you know through. what I'm saying? It's part of the culture. I think that, but what, what happens once you come here, you realize that there's so much love for black people. And, and specifically, depending on where you came from. So, like, when I lived in Chicago, if somebody had a nice car, I automatically associated that with a drug dealer. Because mm. that's what I knew. So traumatized. So traumatized. She had been through it. Mm. And then she got here, and I remember calling my mom, like, it's so many drug dealers Because <laughs> you're seeing all of these brothers and queens out here riding fly, you know, doing their thing or whatever. Living I was great. Like, living great. Honestly, okay, like so that in itself, and then just culturally, when black people in Atlanta come together, you meet somebody for the first time, they introducing you to somebody else, like they've known you for years, you know. Yeah. So it's like I always say the gift and the curse of Atlanta is that everybody got a business card, so you got to know how to do it. Yeah, I'm talking about literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> which is great for me in the print business. But the nigga at the say, Waffle House told me he do real estate. <laughs> I promise this ain't no bullshit. I don't just he be could. making up shit. It's all type of like, shit bro, for sale. Fuck with me on them houses. Tiny like, homes. You know what I'm saying? 
No, don't knock that brother hustle. He I ain't crazy. never knocked nobody you hustle. You know what I'm saying? We quarantined. We at the in crib. Atlanta. Folks is watching HGTV, all type of shit. He's inspired. I've seen people literally just create a hustle out of thin air. I remember the bathroom man at the club. Facts. The biggest hustler in Atlanta. Yes. It was this one nigga. He had leather jackets and everything. Like, they was hung up in T-shirts, Obama. In the club? In the club. And he just had the portable DVD player. Had a stack of porno movies. What? The nigga was hustling. Like, what club serious. you was at? The nigga was hustling. Phone chargers. All that. Yeah, all all that. The little cheap earbuds. This nigga was on it. Yeah. Shout out to Buddy. Real life though, that's black excellence though. We always a make a that. way. It's a you know lot what I'm that. saying? Yeah. Like that's that's so much of how we get to this point. Yeah. That we made a way. You saw an opportunity, you made a way, and look where it took you. And so yeah. all, look, shit, in, in real life, we all the hustle, the hustle man and woman right. that was in the bathroom to some extent. Yeah. Shit, that's one of them was one of them to. got a uh, convenience store by now. Somebody, well, at least one. At least one of them. Or a fucking thrift shop or yeah, something. Some. <laughs> so tell me how you got in the print business. <clears throat> well, it started off really. First, I just, give me, first give me the name. Yes. Right? How we get this far and Because we just chilling and vibing. That's the trap. Facts. Atmosphere. Look at Marvin Gaye. He like, these motherfuckers you chilling too hard. <laughs> They ain't asking the important shit. Hey, right, ain't covering the most important. So when, the name of my company is She Prints It. Mm -hmm. And we are a promotional products um, agency that focuses on branding right. and helping people really stand out from the pack. You know, um, our goal is to make sure our customers can play in the sandbox with the big boys, but still have that small, unique appeal. But I definitely didn't start off with that idea. Like, I just wanted to make some dope shirts. Right. And this was well before, like, all these drop, drop ship companies and all that shit where you ain't got to have no inventory or whatever. I just had a vision and I'm going to printers and they like, you ain't got enough money. But I knew what I wanted to do was dope. So I realized if it didn't exist, I had to create it. Very much so like the bathroom guy, right? right. <laughs> he was like, y'all asking for gum, ain't nobody in here with no gum. Um, and so in that process, you know, I just really focused in on mastering my craft. Like right. I didn't want to just be the person that can print some random shit. Like I wanted to make sure my clients would have something that was dope, that spoke to who they were. You know, much like the first thing I peeped about you was your shirt when you walked in. It was a message. It stood out. It spoke or speaks to who you are. Yep. So Man, I wanted to make sure. Back. That's right. It's wrong. You fuck my what up. So I That's wanted to make sure everybody could, could do that. Everybody that wanted to build a business could operate in excellence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it I'm started gonna definitely there. order some stuff from you, but it's going to be vulgar. Listen. I feel like we have a personal <clears throat> rapport, and now I can have somebody really create the type of vulgar shit that I want. Because okay. I definitely need, I got messages that, that need to be that seen. That need to be said. Yeah. Yeah. I got one shirt that I want done, but it's... That nobody want to print it because it got curse word in it. I want one that says, I'm like eyebrows. <laughs> Bitches need me. <laughs> but see, Listen, people so facts. triggered by the word bitches. And I it's not even that's not even an agenda specific. It's a life metaphor. Hey. It's, everybody it's, it's everybody saying needs that eyebrows. I'm important. Yes. Everybody yeah. needs eyebrows. And you know how important eyebrows are. Eyebrows are important as hell. Yeah. I receive that. Listen, as long as, you know, I won't say that I'll print anything because I definitely have standards. I know. Uh, I know it's going to be KKK a The KKK ain't going to get no printing out of me. Right. But, <clears throat> but for sure, you know, at the end of the day, you building, you creating, and you trying to uh, leave something behind, create a legacy, and give an example for people that's coming behind you. So if we right. can support that, absolutely. Support that. And, again, it should be all black or what? Take it back. Facts. Hell yeah, I see you got the black woman nutrition facts. That's right. So this I didn't is, even know black women were nutrition. First of all, the most nutritious. You see that? Zero calories. I don't believe you that. Ain't gonna you ain't going to lose. You ain't going to gain no weight. Okay? I definitely don't believe I know no so weight. many niggas that got fat dealing with black women. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely don't believe that part. <laughs> Listen, you don't know. Don't knock it till you try. Do you have any favorite... Uh, Favorite product right now that you're selling that's doing pretty well? Absolutely. I mean, naturally. So um, in talking about my business, there's 
um, side hustles that I've been able to expand me, on. Look, tell me some of the things you sell. Like, yeah. Absolutely. So under the She Prints It umbrella, which is the primary business, the parent company, we literally do almost everything that you can think of that supports your business. So we do signage, um, we do graphic design services, we do print on all promotional products, so water bottles, mugs, key rings, bottle openers, towels, pillows, whatever, you know, whatever it is that you need, flyers, business cards. It's really, we really created a one-stop shop. I'm about to put you up on some game. Okay, put me up. Stripper towels. Stripper towels. Okay. You know them towels, they come out and before they start dancing, I'm like, shh, shh, shh. Clean the pole up. <laughs> you know what? I got some towels in there to give away to y'all. Let's see. see it. Let's see if that's stripper towel appropriate. I don't know. It's been a long time. Definitely. I don't think I've ever we got been a box in of, a We got a box of shit. Well, that's a box of goodies for everybody, but I got a box of goodies specifically for you. They didn't sit here and ask you shit. Yeah, that one specific. Fuck y'all. I might give y'all some of this shit. I'm going to get you to tell me about a few of these things. Okay. okay. Oh, so, okay. Tell me about these red bags. Are these? No. Oh, those are <laughs> cut bags. Great for a retail product. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, 85 South Joe Bottle Oats. Yeah. Where everybody going to be asking about these. Got to get a new face one. Oh, new face get... Hungry. New face, you get, you can get one of these, because I, I know it'll be preserved exactly. in history. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, new face. Shout out to new face. That's the home. We got bottle openers, everyone. Get this one to Joe. Joe drinks a lot of beer, exotic beers, not just like alcoholic beers like Budweiser and shit. He like fat tires and them shits. You have to have an orange to drink and shit. You know them, <laughs> those Belgian beers that that frat guys at at parties drink. We got some coffee mugs. Yeah, so Her that's... story starts here. Uh-huh. Cat, Cat be up early on the radio. He'll probably be using most of these. <laughs> this mine, because, uh, you know, this shit is beautiful. We got a, a water yeah, bottle. yours. Yours is special I'm, made. I'm stealing out this bottle. You're not stealing out that bottle. That's what I do. Oh, here go the stripper towels. Here go stripper towels. Towel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going like to change the name of them. <laughs> That's fat dude towel. <laughs> this is fat dude towel. This is fat band towel. That's what you should come out That's to. That's what I should call that An one. Exclusive line. Exclusive big dude line. towels. You see how it's like. Done. On the back side, we got that, that material. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> to lock it in. And to you lock see in how the moisture. You, the towel didn't, it's not a bunch of little, little right. things on it. Right. Because it got the grip on the back so it can hold still. He's here to bring your vision to life. Hold on. This this one of fat dudes. They heard you. <laughs> he heard you had towels. He heard I had towels. What up, Fly? Man, we up in here working. What's going on? Yeah, we got it. Shit, I thought y'all was coming together. Okay, let me hit you right back. Bet. What happened? Sit it right there. Okay, hold on. Now back to the fat dude towel. Okay. All right. Yeah, but I think that'll definitely go for the bigger man who cooks ribs for the family. Now tell me <laughs> what we got right here. Hand sanitizer. Damn, I was hoping it was a curl activator. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I was like, oh, she bought me. She bringing that curl activator. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I see you got your, you got a lot of products, man, and they really dope. Like, Thank this is you. probably my favorite piece because I just love tumblers and shit like yeah. that. And you said these masks are doing really well right now. I, I see why. They made out of panty material. <laughs> that shit's soft. <laughs> but you remember when women used to wear panties? Women, when they used to wear panties? They don't even wear panties no more. Man, they ain't wearing <laughs> boxing briefs and every damn thing now. I remember panties. These remind me of panties. Oh, right God. 
I like. I definitely want you to make me some some of these on you the panty material. Cause you on the panty material. I ain't. Because we got. I got options. my own mask, but I don't have no panty material. You don't have panty material. Yeah, I see why you said this is for the group because you you made sure you packed it up nice. I did. You got some nice goodies in here for yeah. the squad. And I want everybody to feel the love. Nice thank you card when you make a purchase from Cheap Prince. Give yeah. you a special coupon code and things of that nature. Things of that nature. Sit this right over That's here. That's for if you our don't retail mind. line. Yep. And if there's anything mm. else in that box that you need me to highlight. No, you say that's that. it. No, now, that's I'm getting, your, now I'm in my box. Now I get, get to yours. Should have brought. I got uh, my knife. This would be a good time to use my knife. There you go. Justifiable oh. reason. Boom. Oh. 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 Easy pop. Oh. Okay. So this gives you a little, a uh, little bit of what I like to say, uh, best of all worlds. So our primary company is a print company. And so, of course, we made you some customized 85 South water tumblers to so show that. some love. I love that. Um, and then I'm just highlighting with our brand, showing oh you how to rep God. us. This shit's Custom so dope. Mugs. Look at this. Look at this. This shit is dope as hell. I like all the oohs and the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm so we just want you to see future. a little bit of what, what we can do for you. Um, we do consulting, so we sit down with our clients to discuss who's their target audience and how we can help them. But we also have a retail line, so the hoodie in there for you is from our retail line. That's our catalog. So there's just some oh, of the so highlights of the stuff that we can do. Out of. That's that's just a snippet of what we can offer you. But okay. We want you to be able to think outside the box. You can do Ooh, earbuds. I'm so black. I'm gonna find what I want to hear. Then I'm just gonna call you and tell you. And tell us, and we are gonna do all yeah. the rest of the work. You Easy see, piece. that's black people. I could have easily long. placed the order here. Listen, but no, nah, I got we to call you. We used to that you. though. No, uh, go to page eight. Go to page. <laughs> I want that. You like the shot glass to <laughs> here? <laughs> but put my grandma picture. on. <laughs> You so professional. I'm calling you for the most ghetto shit. Though, I That's swear. okay. I receive it. I definitely need some of these water pistols. The water guns are so dope. Like I've been dying for a client to just have a full on water gun fight and get custom water guns. Oh my god, I feel like we we didn't we didn't do it. We didn't expand enough on this interview. You really have a, a catalog of a hundred pages of of things that you of products that Can't you can do. You know, oh we're God. more focused on the business to business. So we got all love for the family reunions and the small things, and we can do that too. But we're a bulk printing company. We've had the pleasure to work with the likes of Coca-Cola and Southern Company and, you know, some of the bigger brands. But we still got all the love for the small businesses and supporting them as they build as well. Hell yeah. And you have some really dope products. It's Thank not, you. didn't that shit? It's not like, it's not cheap shit. No, 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 no. It's actually, I'm impressed. Thank I can't you. wait to order some. I can't wait for you to order. Let me get my hoodie out. Oh, and it's a flex too. False mode. Black man, distinguished, dapper, elegant, melanated, unap unapologetic. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, add the fuck y'all at the end of my mind. That's the no, move. You know, I'm still. That's where the customization comes yeah, in. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so raw. I'm so raw. Oh, yes. Oh, we really thank you for blessing us with this dopeness. Yeah, and thanks for shit, having us. We have so many things that we done. We got candles. And you see how we getting down. We see. We would love to accessorize and, and really support Absolutely. this business. It's got to be somewhere. We can get them get some of that dope shit out that catalog. Hello. Out that catalog. So Let's tell do them, it. tell them where they can find you. Absolutely. Um, you can follow us on Instagram or all social medias under She Prints It. If you want that dope hoodie that he got or that I have, we also have a retail line which is SheWear.club. Um, but all of that can be found on ShePrintsIt.com. So uh, they can definitely get like your custom stuff, like the black woman hoodie and the black man stuff. They can actually go. Yeah, we have a whole retail line. Because that's big right now. A lot, I wear huge. a lot of black t-shirts on the show and people always ask me when you get that. Absolutely. But you know how it is once you like, when you shopping with different vendors, you don't want to yeah. tell somebody you don't want. So, Absolutely. So I yeah. definitely want you to make sure you plug the For black For sure. Stuff. Yeah, it's um, if, when you go to sheprinted.com. And you'll see a drop down for stores, go to retail, you'll see all of our top sellers are dipped in melanin, 
It's our number one uh, selling design. These are all designs that we created and trademarked, which is a whole nother conversation. Yes, that's um, ooh, that's the worst. In that man, process, that intellectual spending property. all that money, and then you and have then to wait. You, you got nine months. <laughs> it's a like year, you spend the money, like, and then you wait. You like, oh, what? you give me shit, man. And it, and it's a waiting process, and all of the spam mail that you and get. And they in always between. call you to ask you for something for crazy. Something extra. Do you have a light bill? <laughs> That you took a picture of <laughs> that was he, next to your wait, original when they idea. Call and say, uh, the, the guy called, he was like, do you have a specimen? I was like, what is you talking about, a specimen? And then they get frustrated and they was like, well, just send us the oldest thing you have yes. that can prove that you <laughs> own this. This is yours, right. absolutely. But, you know, we got to go through that process. And again, you know, that's a, so a, a conversation that day, yeah. for another day. Yeah. Um, but... That's so important in business and black business in particular. Like right. protect your intellectual property right. and most importantly respect people's, people's intellectual property, yeah. y'all. Like we put time and, and I, money into that. I don't think a lot of black businesses understand that it's like going through that, setting up yeah. your getting your paperwork and your business part straight, like the long run. The long run. And it seems like as soon as you get that part in place, you go from the the struggle, the fifty dollar days, yeah. to now you actually rolling because Absolutely. they're going through the proper channels and your yep. money can get to you faster. Exactly, <laughs> but you got you have to be patient with the process. You right. know, everything is a process. Like you pregnant for nine, ten months, like everything is a process. Right. So building a business is a process. Right. Nobody that we've seen um, blow up or glow up or whatever the term would right. be. It didn't happen overnight, you know. But that's why I'll be trying to tell people, like, get your shit together so when it does happen overnight. Boom. Because all, all it takes is that one day that to change one your whole projection. Yep. It's like when people do find out and you Absolutely. wake up that next morning and your phone is blowing up, you're like, where yeah, the fuck what all just, these orders exactly. come from? Exactly. Who posted my shit? And yes. you never know. You need to be ready for you that. You got to be ready. you don't want to fucking have that million dollar day and you don't have and, shit. And, and, came, and came bust a move. We had exactly. that uh, same blessing. Selena Johnson, shout out to her from the shy as well. Exactly. She rocked our sang sweater. Good singing ass. Yes, yeah, I feel can like sing that got to be ass. said every time her name is me. Man. Her old good singing ass. You should. I think you should say it every time. It should just go with her name. Maybe it should be her middle name. Selena Johnson. Good, good singing ass. <laughs> but if that, she ever do an album called Good, good Singing Sangin Ass, you want some credit? Oh, okay. Show me. Oh, okay. If if you know, I thought her. you was finna say you finna trademark it. No, if you know it. <laughs> You can tell her Just she can. tell her she can have that. Selena Johnson. Yeah. Good singing ass. I'll make sure to I let her know that. I want to be the tour man. That's all <laughs> That's I want. That's all you want. That's it. <laughs> got to stay ready. You got to stay ready for the And even questions. I need to be an agent. I go right you in there. Right in me. Agent. You want to book Selena Johnson? Good, Good singing ass? ass. Changes the conversation. All day long. Exactly. Just the energy. But you got to do it like that. The lean in and everything. Or it don't work. Right. Finish telling me the story. I didn't want to cut. Thank you. Think I cut you off. Cause it, it I no love big... Listen, because she is a good singing ass. But to that point, um, you know, she when you say stay ready, because uh, we had the pleasure of just actually just sharing space with her. Like right. what you doing? We were at a women's expo. She had a booth right across from ours. She came, show love, bought some products, her and her producers. And she rocked our hoodie on the Breakfast Club. And I was just like, why is all these orders coming in? Like, what happened, you know? But that that speaks to the, the mood and the energy of even what's happening here. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, just spreading that love. Because within our community, we are so excited to say we got Red Bottoms or whatever other brand. We don't get a nickel for it. And then a black business say, yo, can you promote my brand? And we like, well, my promotion fee is this. And no. you got to you gotta email this person and woo, woo. And I'm just saying, match that same energy in your community that you do outside of your community. That's it. That's it. Real so look, easy. I know you're a successful black woman. And you had a very interesting love story. <laughs> and I want the black women that watch this show to hear it. Okay. Because you always hear black, just like successful black women say, men are intimidated by my success. <laughs> Which is bullshit. bullshit. If you're a successful black woman, go right. and find a nigga you want. Because he's yeah. probably not successful. You all got all this money. You would change a nigga whole life. <laughs> change a nigga, present, just buy the nigga you want. Trust, I don't care what you look like or how you think you look. Self-esteem could be in the streets. The nigga you want is affordable. You got all this extra income. He's affordable. <laughs> no, it's you can literally income. buy the nigga you want with your successful ass. Buy that nigga truck. What is it to you, big ballin' ass? 
Show up with a new truck and be like, you know I like you. you. Know. Girl, I like you too. <laughs> Scoot over. Scoot over. You a mess. Yes, we do not mind. Men oh, do not it. mind being uh, treated, treated like whores. Like. <laughs> Give us things and take our take dick. <laughs> Yes, buy us stuff too. You think a nigga, a nigga got a hundred pound joint? He want the ones coming out too. Oh my what? god! Buy a you nigga, are a fool. Buy a nigga something sometimes. Sometimes. I'm just saying. So I wanted you to make sure you leave us with that. Little well, story. you know, I you know I didn't I didn't buy my nigga. Or no. uh, a truck, you know, we we you we glowed up, we glowed up together. But and truck. that's that's definitely Randomly. a part of on my Wednesday. story on a Wednesday. Just well, that's much. tomorrow. Any Wednesday, Any Wednesday. Just don't okay. Even make it special. A Wednesday. Just you a got random it. ass day. Buy that nigga a truck, even if he got that's. a truck. I swear you're gonna cry. You're gonna cry. Something about men and trucks and, and trucks. somebody else buying it. It just hit it different. Just, just hit different. Some, it just hit different. That's the emotional trigger. Yeah. You I get home. All this just stuff, when you you've been, been giving me all the secrets. Before you go to bed, now you know you be laying in the bed talking shit for you. Uh-huh. You're like, babe, what kind of truck you like? I don't know. I don't fuck with them dodges. <laughs> I bet you that conversation is longer than you think it is. I'm going to try it. Try it. Just ask I am going to try it. What kind of truck you like? I'm going to try it. I look forward to that. Well, my, me and my husband, we met on a blind date. Uh, this is that's why I wanted you to tell it. Yeah. The success rate of that it's is like slim to none. Right. Right. And, and look at Marvin Gaye. Blind. He's date. like lying at. <laughs> For real, Marvin. For real. Yeah, it was a blind date. Um, my god sister was really desperate to hook me up with somebody, and I was just trying to live my best life. She was sick of your ass. She was sick of me coming over eating her food, I guess. And she was like, you need a, somebody to take care of your ass because I'm tired of it, um, which is fine. So she hooked me up with some, you know, a friend of a friend, you know, a whole bunch of long lines of people. And uh, he called. I missed the call. I called him back. I listened to the voicemail. And he was like, yes, yeah, y'all, you miss it. I was like, no. I was like, hang up. I'm a shot town girl. All this southern, I couldn't understand what he was saying on the voicemail. So I was like, this ain't gonna work. And uh, this was back when you remember when cell phones, like if you, they used to allow for the other call coming in to just automatically come in on your ass. Right, you right, mean right. to? So I'm on the phone with my god sister, and I was like, man, he calling now, and I don't want to talk to him. So she hung up because she knew her hanging up would automatically answer his call. And we talked, and I was like, well, I'm on lunch. I'll hit you back. Longer to short of it, I called him that night. We talked for like five or six hours. Uh, we, back when niggas was on the phone. Back on the it. phone all night. Like, you go to sleep. No, you go. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not sleepy. And uh, we met up at uh, Perimeter Mall. Hold on. Let me stop you right here. Niggas, don't ever give up. Don't ever, don't ever give up. You see how that nigga was out of the, I don't want to talk. And then he got in he there got and then in. kept on the phone for six hours. Facts. Facts. Niggas got to step their listening game. You can listen your way up onto what you want. That's a whole nother episode. Let me tell you, but but he finessed me so smooth, right? Because I was definitely one of those women back then that just had all these criteria. You got to be six feet. You got to be, you know, dark skin and you got all this stuff or whatever. So I would ask, I said, so how tall are you? He was like, short. I was like, well, what's that mean? I said, what's your ID say? He's like, short. You know, just like messing with me. I was like, okay, well, you light skin, dark skin? He's like, you know, I'm black. You know, it's just, just, it, but in the I, midst. I ain't never met this nigga. I already like him. Yeah. It, in the midst of that, it's like he, he was like sliding me off on that, but he was stimulating my mind at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So that's how the conversation kept going. And so by the time we met at the mall, he let me get out of my car first to make sure I was cool. Uh, and then we got to the mall, you know, walking around perimeter. We was young, 24, 25 years old. And he's like, you know, you want anything? Now, he probably couldn't afford to buy me anything, but he was all in the mall like, you want something? You want anything? I said, this, I, this little light-skinned, cake and ass nigga. I was with it. I was with it. And, you know, what is it, 15 plus years later, two kids, house and a dog, white picket fence, all that good stuff. Um, and I'm really, I'm here because of him. Because he holds me down. Like, I, I, I'm traveling the world trying I to like teach this people nigga, bro. It's just, about my brand. Because we never hear about a nigga being good. And he, yes. Oh, man, bring him. Bring Tell him. Tell that nigga yes. he can come on this he can bitch, come? too. Okay. Yeah. Y'all yeah, heard yeah. it here. 
Now, when we come pulling up, <laughs> ain't no, I ain't say me. I told him. Him? Oh, I can't go. No, I fuck that. I heard you already. You heard me. This nigga get his own episode. Then y'all can come episode. together. <laughs> Wait, nigga, I, how did you get this call? How did you get this Because you was out of there. Did you know you was out of there? He was like, yeah, that's why I kept yeah, on the I phone, bro. <laughs> change the mind. Change, change the mind. <laughs> Keep listening. Change the mind, change the world. Conversation is too much. <laughs> he mastered it. He, he need to write a book about it all day long. Right. But he holds he holds it down. You know, we got two little ones, and he makes sure they good. Entrepreneurship ain't no joke. Right, so right, I'm right. always gone. You know, or, kids, mom, let me get that uh, you. Right. My daughter, because my daughter, my daughter will be looking at me like, what is that? <laughs> Um, forgot I was. I forgot you, them kids. Man. I'm just going it's, it's just incense, baby. It was incense. Yeah. They had incense there. Shit, we um, do better sage. <laughs> <laughs> it's, goddamn, it's just a little sage. Kids, That's all it was. Like that. <laughs> go home and eat all. Right, my baby gonna go home. They gonna get a whooping for my no reason. Mama, you're not. I'm coming back. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> gonna make me six grilled cheeses. <laughs> Are you gonna give me what? No! <laughs> <laughs> keeping this fat, keeping yeah. this fat dude towel. You keeping the fat dude towel? Hell yeah. It's yours. You deserved it. Thank you you earned it. it. But yeah, man, that was, that's dope. And I appreciate you coming through. I this. appreciate I you having Look, me. I know you think we're just talking and shit, but we definitely gonna be getting with you. Your, your, your catalog got me impressed. I saw a lot of things that would look good with my, my catchphrase, quit touching yeah. shit. And I got a whole lot of other bad friends. Oh, you didn't peep that I put that on your book, your cup, did you? He ain't peep. On my mug. On on your uh, water bottle, on your uh, oh. bottle opener. <laughs> <laughs> it's the details. That's where you went in that. All day long. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to New Face. He put a sister on. Man, New Face. He be on it. He be on it. New Face. Don't get enough credit. For he the shit he, he doesn't. Do. He it's one doesn't. Of the coldest he, niggas I man, ever met. and so humble. And a lot of people don't know this though. I'll never say this, and okay. he don't know that I know this. But new face, you know, like when I first started doing comedy, mm -hmm. like when you start having fans, uh -huh. like this nigga always fucked with me. Yeah. Like soon as from the first time he saw me do comedy, like when I first started, wow. he always fucked with me and shit. So. That's my dog. That's what's up. He That's the kind of, of the people first you people fucking around. with me on, Let me tell you. on the comedy shit All in the, in the city. Yeah. When I ain't, when, you know, when I was moving around hitting comedy shows every night, and I ain't thought nobody knew my name. Right. He showed up. He had made me shirts and everything. Yeah. That shit, you know, it's just like That's love. At a time where you know you and just you need, need that, that validation man, to pick your you spirits up to be that. like you're moving in the right yes. direction. Yes. Yeah. It was one of those the journey ain't no joke. Hell no. So you need somebody to just you know high five you every now and again. Man. It's like I see you. He's like, do you? Because I don't see me right now. Right. Shit, it's hard. It be those people though who see your vision. Yeah. It's like they want to buy into what you're doing. Absolutely. And it's like they want to make sure that you get there. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, they're going to come by. Doing. Even if you got one shirt, they're going right. to come by. Right. Yeah. Hey, man, time for a new shirt. Man. All day. Shit, give me another give one. Me and another a fat one. dude. Yeah. Uh. I done bought six of these bitches for him. Come on, dog. Come on. I believe that's, in that's you. That's new face all day. Like, right. he used to hit me up all the time. Like, yo, can you put my logo on this? Can you do this? Can you hook? You know, I'm going to an event. Can you print this shirt for this person for me? That's And that's love. Right. And it, it's that push that you need because now it's like it ain't just about you. It's a village of people that want to see you win. So you got to keep pushing for everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that right there, that's inspiration. Hell yeah. That's what keeps you going. Well, shit, I ain't going to hold you all night. I know you the okay. kids. Mama, drop your social media again. Email, contact information. All right. Just drop it for them and let them know where they can get in touch with you. At That's what's up. Yeah, you can follow us on sheprints.it on Instagram. Our retail line is shewear.club on Instagram. Shop with us on sheprints.com. You can find customization, logos, signage, whatever it is that you need, but our retail store as well. And of course, you can email us, info at sheprinted.com. You can call us, 844-777-5900. And you can just swing by the office. We're on 10 Wilson Road, Stockbridge, Georgia, if you're in Atlanta. But we ship worldwide, you know, so you ain't got to be in the A to, to hang out with us or do business with us. You know, we like to say we offer a professional experience with a friend. So come holler at us. 
Well, you know you're welcome to come back to the That's trap That's what's anytime. up. I appreciate I it. I appreciate you. It was and a I pleasure. Will be, I will put my order in real soon. Okay, I look forward to it. Hey, man, this is 85 South Show Black Business Expo, and we yeah. out! Hold up, man. Get a, get a shot of that. Zoom in on that so they'll know which one it is. You got it there. Man, Carlos Gallo here at the 85 South Show. Something nice. I am trapped in the studio and I don't know how I'm gonna get something to eat. You know what I do? I pick up the phone and open the DoorDash app. Yeah, they bring you everything, man. DoorDash has something for every lifestyle. On the go with no time to waste, order pick up and pass the line. Delivery is more than just pizza in 2020. With a selection of your favorite flavors from across the globe, you can order world cuisine from the comfort of your living room with DoorDash. So make sure you download the app and use promo code 85SOUTH so you can get $5 off your first order of $15 or more. That's promo code 85SOUTH. You've got big plans for 2020, but when will you find time to do it all? Order delivery with DoorDash and take back time in your day. We use it. We want you to use it. That's why we're giving you the promo code. And for the people who don't know what a promo code is, it's kind of like a coupon before the internet. So if you go in there and they say enter the promo code, always enter 85 South so you can get the best deal possible. With door-to-door -to -door delivery in all 50 states, Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can order from your local go-to's or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, and the Cheesecake Factory. Get the app. Go to the app store and get the app. You don't have it yet? While we still talk, I got food on the way. What were you saying, bro? Go to commercial.